Welcome back. In this video, we will go over the cranial nerves. We have 12 pairs of cranial nerves. To help identify them on the model, first we need to remember five structures on the brain. This is the frontal lobe, this is the pituitary gland, and this is the brain stem. This part is the midbrain, that is the pons, and this is the medulla oblongata. Starting with cranial nerve number one, the olfactory nerve, this is the olfactory tract right here, and this is the olfactory bulb. Right here, we have the olfactory tract that runs parallel to the frontal lobe. This is the olfactory bulb. From the olfactory bulb, we have the olfactory fibers that runs through the olfactory foramina of the ethmoid bone. So this right here, the ethmoid bone at the roof of the nose, these tiny openings are the olfactory foramina. The olfactory fibers will carry the signals from the olfactory epithelium to the olfactory cortex on the cerebral cortex. Moving to cranial nerve number two, which is the optic nerve. This is a cross section in the optic nerve. Right here, we can see it up to this level. It is connected to this structure, which is the optic chiasm. The optic chiasm is anterior to this gland, the pituitary gland. This part that connects the optic chiasm to the brain right here, this is the optic tract. On this diagram, we see the optic nerve, which is the nerve that exits the eyeball. In the center, we have the optic chiasm, where the decussation of fibers happens. And this is the optic tract, which is the part that connects the optic chiasm to the brain. Remember, the optic tract is closer to the brain. The optic tract also it carries the signals to the primary visual cortex on the occipital lobe. In my medical practice, I have seen patients with pituitary gland tumor where they suffer from visual disturbances. Why is that? Because when the pituitary gland enlarges, it compresses the optic chiasm anterior to it and as a result, they will suffer from visual disturbances. Moving to the anterior aspect of the midbrain, we have the oculomotor nerve, cranial nerve number three, which is a motor nerve from the name. From the posterior aspect of the midbrain, we have the trochlear nerve that runs anteriorly toward the extrinsic eye muscles. On the surface of the pons, we have one cranial nerve right here, which is the trigeminal cranial nerve. It is number five, and it is called tri because it branches off into three divisions. Moving to the junction between the pons and medulla oblongata. Starting medially, first we have the abducens nerve, which is cranial nerve number six. Lateral to the abducens nerve, on the junction, we have the facial nerve, which is cranial nerve number seven. Lateral to the facial nerve on the junction, we have the vestibulocochlear nerve, cranial nerve number eight. This is the vestibulocochlear nerve that carries the signal from the inner or internal ear to the brain. Moving to the lateral aspect of the medulla oblongata right here, we have cranial nerve number nine, which is the glossopharyngeal cranial nerve. Inferior to it, we have the vagus nerve, which is cranial nerve number 10. Inferior to it, we have the accessory nerve, cranial nerve number 11, which on both sides, it forms number 11. That's the accessory nerve. Moving to the medial aspect of the medulla oblongata, we have cranial nerve number 12, which is the hypoglossal nerve. Let's repeat the cranial nerves one more time. First, we have olfactory nerve, cranial nerve number one. This is the olfactory tract. This is the olfactory bulb. Moving to the optic nerve, which is cranial nerve number two. This is a cross section in the optic nerve. Right here, we have the optic chiasm, and this is the optic tract, closer to the brain. 
This gland is the pituitary gland. Moving to the anterior aspect of the midbrain, we have the oculomotor nerve, cranial nerve number three. Don't confuse the mammillary bodies with the oculomotor cranial nerve. On the posterior aspect of the midbrain, we see the trochlear nerve. On the anterior aspect of the pons, we have the trigeminal nerve, cranial nerve number five. On the junction between the pons and the medulla oblongata, medially, we have the abducens nerve, cranial nerve number six. Lateral to it, we have the facial nerve with its two branches right here, cranial nerve number seven. Lateral to it, we have the vestibulocochlear nerve, cranial nerve number eight. On the lateral aspect of the medulla oblongata, we have cranial nerve number nine, the glossopharyngeal cranial nerve. Inferior to it, we have the vagus nerve, cranial nerve number 10. Inferior to it, we have the accessory nerve, cranial nerve number 11, which forms the number 11 on both sides. Moving medially on the medulla oblongata, we have cranial nerve number 12, which is the hypoglossal cranial nerve. 